to see Sam Raimi direct another Spider-Man movie. So moving on to the second exclusive, which I post uh, published today, actually, just a couple of minutes ago, is that Spider-Man 4 will be made before the live-action Spider-Man movie. So, you know, the, um, things kind of happen so quickly in, in this world and um, you get... One, you know, you get one source that tells you something and then multiple sources corroborate that. But then the next day, it's it's not changed, but it's kind of developed. And um, so as it stands, this, this Spider-Man 4 movie will be directed by Sam Raimi. It won't be a Spider-Verse film. <laughs> so I'm kind of contradicting myself in this, but sometimes this sort of, sort of stuff happens. And it's going to, according to my sources, it's going to feature Venom. So this is this is something that was when um, when I was uh, sent this today I was a bit like oh this is interesting I got sent it in the morning and then um, I kind of left it alone thought you know what I'll come back to this person so I went back to them and they gave me a bit more information and then I got two other people come to me and I, I've direct quoted quite a few of them actually in this so uh, I'll put it up here so Marvel and Sony have been talking Spies Man Four. They're already working on the script, and a word around here is that it won't be a Spider-Verse film. So that was, a, that was the first source that, that got to me this morning. And then I was then told that Spider-Man 4 won't be a live-action Spider-Verse film. Those reports are false. The script is being written as we speak, and Marvel and Sony are very excited about it. And then, um, this, um, this was the same source actually went on to state that Venom is currently um, Venom is in the current version of the script, and Tom Hardy's and it's Tom Hardy's version of Venom, and that kind of like to me it really really makes sense. And that's I mean, the idea first off the idea. Let me start off with something. Let's start off with Spider Man Three, and whether or not Andrew Garfield and uh, Tobey Maguire are actually going to be in this movie or not. Um, I said or not twice then, but the the I this the report the original report comes from Phantom Wire, and it actually comes from Popcorn Planet, which is um, uh, Andy Signal's uh, new channel, or relatively new. He's been doing it for a while now, but he claims that sources have told him that Garfield and Maguire will be in Spider Man Three, and that's that's where this all started. It all snowballed, and people went with it, and then E T Canada went to directly to Sony, and actually a Sony representative got back to them, and said that those um, those uh, rumors, casting rumors, haven't been confirmed. So, first off, let's talk about the fact that they actually responded, which is actually really weird, because movie studios don't tend to do that; they just tend to ignore these things. I am constantly emailing. Um, representatives at movie studios specifically marvel sony and disney and they never ever ever get back to you they, when they never get back to me i've been working in this industry now for a long long time and trying to get them to comment on a story or to say anything about anything is really difficult because the mere fact of commenting on something or releasing a statement kind of makes people think oh maybe you've got something to hide maybe there's some truth in this and the fact that they 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 said that that they, <laughs> I mean, who knows who the person is they they contacted? Maybe it was just a PR. Maybe it was you know uh, someone in house at, at Sony that probably shouldn't have said anything. You know, you, you never know with these things. Um, but they, I mean, it's out there. So Sony are probably quite annoyed about that. I would imagine. I mean, I would imagine if I was in that position, if I was in a, a position of power at Sony's pictures, I'd be pretty annoyed that this is out there or that this rumor is out there and it's kind of being almost corroborated by a Sony Pictures representative. But just coming back to what I was talking about originally and from a personal standpoint, I think that if you were to have Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, Benedict Cumberbatch, um, Tom Holland, um, John Favreau potentially, Zendaya, you know, this movie is starting to get really packed. Um, it just feels like it's too much. Oh, uh, Jamie Foxx's Electro. It feels like it's so, so many actors, so many characters to handle that it's too much to handle for one movie like that. It's, it's not an Avengers movie. It's not a film that we've kind of been waiting for. I mean, we have been waiting for this for a while, but it's not one of those movies that's like the Avengers. 
It's not a big Star Wars movie. It's a big film, but it's not one of those massive event movies where you can have all these characters in it. It's not a Spider-Verse film as far as we're concerned because it wouldn't make sense to have a Spider-Verse film now. Again, this is me talking personally and me talking on the back of what my what my sources have told me, which it's not the... I mean, again, it's, it's this kind of this kind of scoop game, if you like to call it that, is, is very... Is, is very difficult because everyone has different sources. Everyone's told different, inf I mean, not everyone, but mostly it's varying information or not similar, but not quite the same. You have to vet these people, which isn't actually that easy to do. Uh, and you have to make sure that they are who they say they are, which also often isn't that easy to do, especially in this area where you have fans that are very passionate about this sort of stuff. And actually people want to start these rumors people want to because they want to see it that's why they do it it's because they they like the idea of seeing andrew garfield and toby Maguire back as spider-man that fundamentally is why someone would would spread this rumor the thing is is that it could also be true and um uh, sources have told me that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire have been in talks and have signed on to some sort of Spider-Man project in the future. But it's I, I was categorically told that it's not Spider-Man 3. Now, again, I, that, I've said this before. I would love it to be true because I'm a fan and I know there are lots of fans out there. I just worry that if it were true, then the film itself might actually suffer because it would just be too packed. It be a really had to be a really, really good script to get all of those characters in there, all of those actors in there, all of those big name actors into, into one movie, which is why the idea that, I mean, when my sources came to me coming back to the story finally, so I went on a bit of a tangent there, but when I was told that Spider-Man 4 will just, won't be a Spider-Verse film and will actually feature Venom and incorporate more characters from the Sony Spider-Verse, let's say the Spider-Man universe, it makes more sense because you've got these movies coming. We know we have Venom coming. We know we have Morbius coming. You know, th these are films that are in production that basically made, I'm pretty sure Morbius is made and Venom as well because they were supposed to be released this year. Um, thanks, COVID. But it's, you know, it just feels to me more plausible and there's no need to rush this. <laughs> it's like, I know you're saying, you might say, oh, you know, Maguire and Garfield aren't as young as they used to be. But then if it's a Spider-Verse film, that doesn't matter. You can have, we saw it in, in Into the Spider-Verse, you can have older Peter Parkers around that are kind of past their sell-by date and at different points in their lives. I mean, the, you know, the, the Peter Parker in Into the Spider-Verse is a tragic character. <laughs> He's a tragic character. Uh, and it, it would be interesting to see Peter Parker at different stages in his life in, in one movie, basically. And... But the thing is, you really need to lead up towards that. You, you need, you, it needs, it needs more, it needs more time. And I just feel that you can't have that in one Spider-Man 3. And also the fact that they signed on, supposedly signed on so late to Spider-Man 3 is also very odd because the, the script had been finalized months, even possibly years ago. Therefore, this 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 rumor or this exclusive let's say that it it just it just feels too rushed it the, the story the the idea of them signing now right before they're supposed to film it just it all feels too rushed and that's not something that kevin feige is is a does he, he just doesn't do that he doesn't rush things he takes his time he makes sure he he makes sure that everything is perfectly planned as much as it possibly can be he has a plan. He always, he's a man with a plan. He always has a plan. He has these phases. It's, you know, we're on to phase, uh, f like, what, four now? Four, five? I'm, I'm blanking. But it's, it's like, it just doesn't make sense that it'd be so late in the game to have them sign on now. It's, it seems like too much of a big thing to have confirmed right before filming starts. And that, that's where I'm at with this. And that's why when... I get, I get people, you know, telling me that it's like Spider-Man three, Spider-Man three, Spider-Man three. I'm just like, okay, just wait. Let's let's just wait and see. If it is Spider-Man three, then great, that's fantastic. If it isn't, you know what? It's probably gonna. I mean, according to my sources, it's gonna happen in the future. And 
yeah, I think you can wait for it. Anyway, let I, that's my whole little bit about Spider-Man 3 over. Let me know what you guys think in, in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you guys believe, like me, Spider-Man 3 would be too full with Maguire and, and uh, Garfield in it, or do you, do, do you think to the contrary? Do you, do you think the movie needs those two versions of Spider-Man in it? Do you think the movie needs to introduce the Spider-Verse? We know it's introducing the multiverse. So there is... There is definitely is potential for that to happen. Let's just wait and see. Let me know in the comments below. Right, moving on.